guys, good morning. Uh, we are southbound on US 212. Um, destination today is going to be Bryson City, North Carolina. Uh, we had breakfast in the room to make a quick start uh, of the day. And got some petrol. And looks like we're going to be facing the remnants of a tropical storm. Uh, of course, the last time we traveled to North Carolina, we had a tropical storm also. Tropical storm Laura made landfall yesterday. Uh, going to give us a little bit of rain, but it's okay. It's a cool rain, so we're ready for it. And uh, our route today is going to be 212, then over to uh, Interstate 40, and then on, uh, on in over to uh, Bryson City, once we get, to, which is going to be at, at the foot of the Smoky Mountains. So looking forward to that. It's supposed to be some sunshine before the uh, weather clears. Should be a nice leisurely ride day. Let's see how it goes towns and I uh, didn't catch it on video but you know people standing outside the gas station waving at us the uh, firefighter uh, you know rolling up his hose waving at us it's just it's just nice folks are are friendly and you know the uh, homes and yards seem well maintained like they take pride in um, what they have it's just it's kind of nice kind of kind of wholesome. It's been rather wet all day today and I've been a little bit chilled, but this is fantastic. So I hope we're on the outskirts of the Tropical Depression Laura now. We shall see. We stop for a quick picnic lunch at a rest stop along I-40 before hitting the road again, heading west. So green for late August. Oh, and here's our exit to Bryson City. I love the uh, landscaping that North Carolina does in their medians. They really do a nice job. Uh-huh. That's oh, perfect. Hello. <laughs> this is a cool spot. Oh. <laughs> Miriam. Miriam, pleasure meeting you. It's Real great pleasure. to meet you. Finding our place. Oh, this is uh, our. I'm John. I'm the driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she's the mission commander. I'm the pilot. <laughs> uh, you, you guys can correspond with each other. No. no? Yeah. Oh, she goes. Okay. Pull over. I need to pull over. <laughs> we have a system. It works yeah. for us. We've had intercoms. We found out there's no more trouble than there were worth. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just saw the, the logo. What I thought. Was That's for the yeah. uh, video camera. Yeah. Yeah, we, we have a little YouTube channel. Yeah. I love this uh, deck setup. So, you sneak in, there's a, to the left here, there is a light switch. I'm going to let you guys touch them and play with them. Okay. Okay. That's, um... So, here's a little tour of our home for the next two days. 2002. Airstream travel trailer. Although we didn't get the official specs, I believe it's about 24 foot long. 
but plenty of room for two people. The front seating area, with the couch also folds out to an extra bed. With fold-out tables to convert to a dining room, television, galley area with stove, sink, microwave, plenty of storage, refrigerator, freezer, more closet space, shower, and the bathroom area. And in the rear of the coach is the bedroom. This gives us plenty of opportunities to evaluate the concept of living in an RV before we take the next step of actually test driving one. First thing I want to do is take off these uh, this motorcycle gear, but first I have to get the uh, clothes out of the trailer and then get the motorcycle gear off and then have a cocktail. Uh, the last few miles I kept watching the odometer for the destination countdown. It was almost like it was in slow motion. Got warm and ready for the day to come to an end. Oh, just want to relax, have a cocktail, maybe have have dinner and uh, very easy night. That's all I really want. <sighs> so Good morning guys. We're uh, packed up and heading over to the National Park which is literally well it's less than 100 yards from the front door of our Airstream trailer. Miriam has talked me into going to a, uh, a nature hike along uh, the Deep Creek, which is situated in the park, which is well known for its uh, tubing activities. Uh, people rent uh, inflatable tubes and float down the river, and uh, that works for them, but that's not going to work for us today. So we're just going to take in the scenery and uh, enjoy a nice walk in the National Park. By the way, the Smoky Mountains is the only national park that I know of that actually does not have an entrance fee of any kind. Well guys, it's been another very challenging day, really hard <laughs> life out here uh, on the road. So uh, we're having to uh, wash away our sorrows in high-end bourbon <laughs> <laughs> in the hot tub by the Airstream. <sighs> Literally 50 yards from the Smoky Mountain National Park. Yes, <laughs> and I would say hot is the theme word for today. Hot, it was hot. But, uh, you know, it is it is August. Yeah, it but looks beautiful. The nice thing is, uh, the Airstream does have air conditioning. You really, really don't need it. Uh, last night, it got so cold that this morning when I got up to make my morning coffee and come outside on the front deck and drink my coffee, I had to put long pants on. It was in the 60s. It was, it yeah. was, it was nippy. We slept under a blanket. Had to, yeah, I had to grab a blanket because we weren't expecting that. So... Uh, and we're only at a couple thousand feet. The next three nights are going to be at about 5,000 plus. So it's going to be even cooler. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Yep. So it's been a nice day so far. Two nights of the Airstream. I think it's convinced us. I looked at Miriam and I said, we can do this. We can do this. So uh, it may not necessarily be an Airstream, but we're still doing our research. We've got a couple of years. So uh, until, uh, until next time, guys. You forgot to mention our dinner. Oh. If, if you ever come to Bryson City, you must look up, is it Pascalino's? Pascalino's Italian Restaurant. Really yummy. Uh, I think it's a family-owned operation. It's, uh, it's, I can't say anything bad about it. It was really, really nice. Service was pretty good. There's some write-ups in there about the service not being so hot. 
on the weekends when the biker crowd comes into town um it's you just uh, have to be patient yeah you, you got to be patient with them because it's not that big of a restaurant yeah. and they have to uh have to space the tables out because of the covid plague yeah. so yeah. it's been a good day so we're going to unwind and wrap it up and then we're going to watch some of the videos some of the youtube videos that we like to watch every sunday evening that's our ritual so yeah y'all take care bye bye thanks for watching If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below.